So, if I were to actually get here this early, I am going to try this bullet spinner. We're going to see how it goes, but okay. Mic check, one, two, one, two, what's up? What's up, what's up? We're going to go over to this shelf over here. Um, so, one thing that's cool, the, the tablet obviously is awesome. But, so as you can see, over here is the shelf, and it does drop off hard. It goes from... At zero, and then you know it's pretty much it. it it's it's low. Mm, so we want to. So there's water coming in right there. So a lot of times that's where trout will be. So we're gonna go on this side of the wall and cast back the other way. I'm just gonna keep cruising over here. It is beautiful out here. What's up? What's up, everyone? Real quick, thank you for uh, we hit 324 subs, which isn't a number itself too spectacular, but just mainly just thank you guys for the 300. We're getting up there. Hopefully by summertime. I'm gonna start dropping some different stuff, but hopefully by next summer we can have um, like decent amount um, so this is not really in too fast so we're going to try and keep doing this twitching off the bottom but it is a spinner so we could I wonder if we do it at this speed is that too fast for him I don't know I didn't see what the uh the uh, schedule was for the day either so we'll see um, okay I don't have anything going on there and this is a really heavy setup actually so let me see what we got in here we got anything lighter that is a little bit lighter that is not at all that is way too light what is in here oh dude this might be the move Quarters too light, but we don't need to. We don't need to get it too crazy. So I was thinking like <clears throat> a quarter ounce is really light, but oh no, they do go for spinners. Three quarters of an ounce is a really big spinner, though. That's a huge hook. Let's see what they sell here for lures. Whatever they sell here is gonna but be what they usually go. So the medium spoons is what it's looking like. And how big are these spinners? Half ounce. Let's buy a couple, couple of those. Well, we'll just buy those, those ones. Oh, the barbless. That'd be nice. And crankbaits as well. So, okay. So we're going to hop on over here. We're going to use the, the Argo. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to start out by trying these medium spoons because um, I do have them. So, why not? Um, but, that being said, no, let's use the new let's use the new setup that we just put together. Just put together. One and a half ounce. Boom. What were the size of the other ones that they're selling here? Let me check that real quick. Quarter ounce. A, a one on these uh, and now yeah this hook might be a little big it is a four ot hook did I say this ounce
Should we put a jig head on here? I'm thinking we put a jig head on here. Um, and we'll be able to use a lot of them. Um, they do like crawfish, which I have. Uh, let's see if we have a two-aught hook that'll fit this. I don't think we do. Oh, might be on with that three-aught. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do this three-aught. And then we're going to get a crow on there. Um, we're going to use this guy. Okay, let's try this crawfish out. <coughs> so this is a I haven't used this crawl really ever so this will be new for me we're going to actually so it is lighter it's going to sink a lot so we're going to do straight slow through the middle see if we can get on anything or get any hits I don't think we're going to because it's a creature bait so we're going to let this we're going to let this get to the bottom we're going to do a twitching pattern off the bottom just pop it up let it go pop it up and this doesn't have to be all the way on the bottom. If it is, that's like we're fine with that. We're gonna keep trying to pop it because I'm guessing this isn't very weedy. Um, it's a cold area. It's in the northwest, and from the temperature, it's uh, there's not gonna be a lot. Of, it, the water's cold, so there's not gonna be a lot of shit growing in it. Um, so I'm guessing it's a really clear. This is probably a really clear lake. Uh, I wish it told you. Um, we're not getting any hits. Let's check the schedule. Oh, we are dead dead. So we're going to go to 10 o'clock. Where it looks like there's at least some action coming. Alright, it's getting a little nicer out. Guys, I'm playing this because I decided that I needed something besides Red Dead to play. I needed to play something besides Red Dead or I'm going to get burnt out on it because I'm playing the fuck out of it. Um, I'm over 50%, which isn't crazy, but, um, like, my buddy's at, like, 25, and he's been playing it quite a bit. I've been playing it a lot. Um, now it's looking like there's more top water going on. I'm gonna keep trying this could also throw on we could use the uh the super light one and uh that's what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna get it we're gonna use the ultra light and we're gonna put a little spinner on there and we're gonna try and get on a big boy on a little spinner that would be hilarious oh this i was using this for walleye <laughs> Okay, spinner, one-eighth ounce spinner. This could be bad. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Lord. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> that cat's pretty far. So it's super light. Oh, okay, so this reel is going to reel this thing right in. let this sink a little more and then we'll reel it up from the bottom it's very light so it's going to take a little bit longer to get down there it just can kind of float down and all right let's start reeling her in it's going to come up pretty quick but it is a spinner so you want it to be able to do its action through the water oh we had a hit right there I'm going to get one with a lower recovery, I think, than this. <coughs> We're going to go just through the top half of the water, because it seems to be that's where the trout are right now. It's a little cold, so they're coming up to the surface, get some warmth. This is really fast. This is a really fast recovery. I don't like it. Um, I'm going to slow it down a bit. 
I'm gonna see if I can swap out the reel here. See if there's anything similar to it here. Let's just get this in real quick and check that. Ah. Okay. Wait. Mm. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Spin reel sounds what I wanted. Okay. Max of eight. What is this one? Max of six. Five point four. 31 and a Let's just throw this straight on here and see how she throws. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's keep that drag down a bit. See how it reels in compared to that other one. Almost identical. Almost unnoticeably slower. Uh, we're going to let this go all the way down again and then reel it up through. See where it stops. It looks like it might even be a little faster. I don't know. It's going to slow down a little bit in the middle because it always does. It's just a really fast recovery, which we don't want. Wild Brissy Dad. Okay. And then we're going to go from a little under halfway. Oh. Oh. I'm going to guess it's a rainbow. Alright, so whatever it is, it's bigger than. So you got to figure this is probably pulling at about. Because it's 8.8 .8 max drag. So when you have the full drag settings, when it's all the way up, it's going to be at 8.8, .8, almost 9 pounds. So we'll just, we'll, whoa, 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 this thing. Um, holy shit. Oh my god. Now these trout, they're so, he's just deep because he's not that far out. I don't know how light this line must be really light. We're gonna try and switch up the line right after this after this cast, like literally. Damn, guys. Oh, it looks like a little brownie now. That looked like a brown. What the fuck? This guy's a little fighter. And we are on light tackle, so keep that in mind. We're starting to pull him around a little bit more. We're getting him in a little bit, but then he just makes another run. Just like that. He is just running, running, running. Reel it in while he's running. Or while he's coming back in like that. Ugh. Come on. This is a nice brown, it looks like. 
decent brown. It's only a four pound trout. Okay, so yeah, guys. I'm going to check and see what this line situation is. Um, I think it... Okay, yeah, it's only four. So we're going to put on some eight pound line. That's what we're going to do. So we can turn that drag up a bit. Um, we'll put a bunch of this line on just so if we want to use this anywhere else and we get onto something that's just dragging us around a bit um, we got a little bit of line to play with so okay okay um, I don't know why it was doing that but it was it wasn't letting me okay whatever anyways Yeah, I do have a little bit of rum left over from last night. My buddy and I were hanging out, so I am going to finish that up. I got, I mean, a decent amount, damn near a quarter of the bottle. Now I do bring it all the way through the top of the water. The straight slow with the spinner is my favorite. I'm probably going to go for a little heavier of a spinner see how that works now I'm also learning right about right a little under halfway on that diagram to the right there through the top of the water is where I run my spinner when I'm going for trout and that's my most usually my most success oh I had one I just I stopped reeling man well whatever Let's see if there is a, a little heavier one with not too much heavier of a hook. It's a half ounce, but it's a three aught. I don't need a three aught. I need like a two aught, but it's a five six bullet. Let's try the half. It's too heavy. Oh yeah, duh. This is my big boy. I can't use that on this. What am I thinking? Eighth. Ah, let me go back to this one. Jesus Christ. I'm not thinking at all. Let's send this one out a little to the left, a little further left than I was casting. We're gonna let that sink again. Give the cat some love. Hey, mama. Last night I was with dogs, with my buddy house sitting, slash dog sitting. <laughs> um, just kind of cleaning out my whiskey glass. I didn't set it face down this time, so uh, it unfortunately got a little dusty, yeah. Oh my god, I know what the problem is. Right now I ain't got no music playing, which I usually do. So excuse me for that. Alright, so we didn't get any hits on that one. I might switch up the... I can't switch up the color. I don't have any to match it. I'd have to, well, I could switch my rod up, I guess. I could switch to a different rod. Let's throw on one of those nanos. We have some nano spinners that are... Ah, here they are. So we'll go with this rooster tail here. This little rooster tail and see if we can't get on anything with it. <sighs> Still decent casts on this little rod. So again, it's going to reel up really quickly because it's so light. Um, which shouldn't really, I mean, ultimately, because you're just dealing with the water, but it's just pulling it in a little bit more. So yeah, um, we're having a rough trout morning. Um, I was thinking about doing a series where it's a little more realistic, like uh, I, t I take it a little more realistically, like not just as a game, like kind of arcadey, which is what it's getting to, but like uh, something where I have to go out and I have to catch like f five cookable fish or something, you know what I mean, like edible, good catch. I think that'd be kind of fun, maybe. We'd be obviously trying to catch the most edible. And I'd be trying to catch them in, like, legitimate way. Like, no kayak, you know. 
I think it'd be kind of fun. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll get some stuff going. I gotta get some more ideas for specific videos. And oh, I'm getting this thing's getting smacked around. They're hitting the shit. Oh, there we go. Whoa, little little guy. <laughs> it's a sunfish. <laughs> That's all right. We're gonna be catching a, these nano spinners, man. You can get a lot of stuff on these. Um, we're gonna also hit another. Like it's only 10:45 a.m. on this, and it's actually 10:45 p.m. in real life for me right now. So that's kind of funny. Hey, mama. For whatever reason, um, so my younger sister, the older of the two, but she's 12, 13, 13, I think. 12 or 13. Well, she lives in Oregon, but she, for Christmas last year, made me ridden. Like, it's fish. It's a bunch of fish all over it, which I think is so cool. Um, she, hand, she made it for us, and it's really warm, and my cat decided that it was her bed. My cat loves that blanket a bunch, which is, I think, sweet as hell. Super adorable, because she'll ball up in that thing. Like, she, she absolutely loves it. It's warm, too. It's very warm. Like there were a couple times where I was just using that for a for a blanket during the winter. It's the only problem is it's a little small. All right, let's just get this reel back in. We were getting slammed on this um, the first couple, so we're gonna try all of these. So I'm gonna I'm gonna send this one out a bit. This has no rooster on it whatsoever, no tail. I just call it a, them roosters, but um, yeah. So let's get it out there by the wall. Right up on the wall, actually. We should probably. Well, we could even get a little bit closer. We're gonna bring it like over here, so we can bring it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to say, at least. You, whatever. You don't. I don't even care. Fuck off. I'm just gonna let that guy sink. All right, let's bring him up. One fifth of an ounce. So it's a. It's a little bit heavier. getting any hits on the straight slow retrieve I did just ah, and I just got rid of my really slow retrieval rig that I had hooked up it reeled in real slow guys I need to take a shot I haven't I don't think I drank on a stream for a while I used to only do it when I was drinking but which was almost every day <laughs> get any action on these nano spinners let's try the narrow spoons I think I went the wrong way I think those the spoons were like right next direction for me where the hell are they oh here they are narrow spoon I think I, I think I picked the gold one that's what I wanted to pick all right that's what we're going with this is what I was slaying brown trout on um, when I first had the game and was going through this lake that I was murdering them on this all right so let's see what we got here Ooh, a three and a half pound cutthroat trophy that's nice so all right this is gonna go a little bit slower too. the straight slow method with the spoon which I use in real life to catch trout and it works well um, so we're gonna try in the game because it should be flipping back and forth, you know, like the spoon, like spoons do. They have that strange pattern. And uh, so, yeah, we're just going to bring it straight through. If this doesn't get any attention, we'll try to stop. Okay. Now, see how we got that heavier line on now, and we can actually turn the drag up. So, this one's fighting a little bit. And so, we can go all the way up. So, we can go to about 7.8, 7.9 almost eight pounds of drag on this one so we can really romp on this as you can see on um, this line it looks like was used a little bit oh whoa. so it looked like a brown when it came up that one time but yeah it looks like a brown for sure come I need you to come around front bud 
Definitely a brown. I don't know if it's any bigger than the other one. Yeah, I think it's a little bit bigger. About the same size. Guys, by the way, if you're trying to level up, if you're kind of lower, um, this place for brown trout is a great spot. If you don't have St. Croix unlocked yet, great spot. Alright, so we got on one right away. So that was kind of nice. So, um, first cast with the gold spoon. So we're going to do that again. We're going to hit the bottom, and then we're just going to reel it in straight and slow. Trout like to get their eyes on. Oh. Came up a little bit. Um, he... Yeah. I'm going to have to be a little a little quieter. It's getting kind of late now. It's 11 o'clock. Yeah. So. Uh, this one doesn't feel as big, but it feels decent. If it's a brown, it's a small. Yeah, it's a brown. I think it's a smaller one, though. Eh, around the same size, so we're pulling in. We could just throw one out in the middle. Let's throw one out in the middle and see if anything happens at all. Um, I don't know if it will. We're about to find out. I'm going to tell this guy. I'm just going to say classy. See if anybody says anything. <clears throat> so again, we're gonna just do straight and slow. Now it is deeper out here. It looks like because the diagram is not—it's not moving as much. Juniors, eleven twenty-three. So this is just riding along the bottom right now. It's gonna start coming up now. But uh, okay, so. We might get something, we might not, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't ever do this. I don't ever just cast out in the middle of the lake. I usually go to structural shit of some sort, even if it is a rock. Like I'm doing right now. But anyways. Jack me half. <laughs> What's up, sir? Oh, so we did get a hit out there. So we might just want to start reeling it in a little earlier. So we can see the, uh, the top half of the water. So, um, yeah, let's go back to where we were catching them. What's up, Jack? How are you? Oh, let me pour a shot of this real quick. I do have some rum. It's a uh, Sailor Jerry. It was on sale. It's been on sale for a while now. I love me some Sailor Jerry's. Just reach level 30? Hell yeah, man. You're getting it up. Oh, we had one hitting it. So this is our third cast with the gold spoon up on the wall, up on the rocks. And we did get a hit. We caught two, two trout on our first two casts. This is our third cast at this spot with this spoon <laughs> and it looks like we might take a skunker here it's okay though they were hitting it so we're gonna we're gonna cast it like right parallel to the rocks all right there we go keep that line tight I do need to get some more gear um, I bought an awesome Michigan a lot with leeches. Um, you going for the blue catfish, I'm assuming. Oh, there we go. This one didn't hit it nearly as hard. This feels like a much smaller fish. It looks smaller. Going for blue catfish, honestly, dude. Go for the pike. You'll still fill your... Is that small mouth? That looks like a small mouth. You'll still fill up your net. It'll take a little bit longer. But, um... You make... A sizable amount... Extra money. Like, so much more money... Going for pike over the blue, the blue cats, dude. It's amazing. And 
we have found Trout City. Although we did just catch. I can't, don't know how to fish for them. Dude, I have, a, I have a few videos. I have quite a few videos where I'm fishing at the spot for pike. Um, it's how much cash do you have? Let's start with that. Oof. That one hit it more like a brown. Ooh, I didn't see what he looked like, though. 130k. Oh, yeah. Okay, dude, buy a kayak. So you don't have to rent one every day. You don't even technically need a kayak for it, for this spot, but it just helps. Ooh, we got some X-Series 4-Op barbless hooks. And three bait coins. Um, yeah, I would do that. I would get a kayak, and then you paddle over to this spot that I am constantly in in my videos um, and I think I talk about how to catch them too in like like where you have to be at depth wise there's a fish that just jumped right next to me um, here hold on let me let me pull up see if I can't see uh, find one of these videos real quick while I'm fishing when's my last New schedule might be. Yeah, two weeks ago. Got a video called New Schedule. And it looks like in that video. Yeah, in that video, I paddle over to the pike place from the dock and I fish for pike. So that might, uh,. Dude, shiners and large minnows. That's that's what you gotta try. I'm telling you. That's how I catch my that's how I do my and if you have premium it's fifty thousand a day. If you don't have premium, lures are tough with them. You can catch them. Uh top water is the best way, like uh the poppers is the best way to catch the pike for me. And some crankbaits. But yeah, dude. Shiners and large minnows on a four out hook. Um between 13 and 20 inches probably 12 and 20 inches you get away with that but I would say 13 to 20 right by the lily pads that I that video that I was just talking about the one that's two weeks old I think the new schedule one um, that that is uh, yeah that's the spot that's the pike spot premium yeah 50,000 a day in pike and you, it usually fills up relatively fast because you start catching a lot of 20 pounders you get a couple 30 40s usually each day so it's nice it's really nice I'm gonna take a shot real quick Jesus Christ I'm talking too much <laughs> a little bit of Pepsi to ease it back because it is rum which is pretty tasty What a shot that was. That was a big one, too. Oh, I'm working 10. Ooh. I got a nice shift tomorrow. I picked up a little extra, so I am going to stay up extra late. <laughs> oh, now he's fighting a little more. This extra drag looks like a brown. This extra drag that I have is going to make these fish really, I think, fun on this setup. Where's them big boys at? We're going for those big guys. You have premium 
Do I have you as a friend, Jack? We could we could fish at St. Croix sometime, and I could really show you how it gets down, how to get down on some pike. Ooh. You're on PS4, yeah. Um, I'm on PS4 too. Yeah, we'd have to, uh, we might have to link up and get down on some pike. difference in weight on this now all of a sudden I can cast so much further or not <laughs> it's not that I can cast further I can reel in better yeah it makes money exactly dude make some dough I usually get too lazy I only do like two or three days and then I'll buy shit and start traveling around and just fishing for what I want to fish for even though I'm not gonna make money like I'm not gonna fill my net up brown trout it's gonna, no not gonna happen you know but I like to fish for the trout, so you got but you gotta get money up to do that, so that's what you gotta do, you know. Um anyway, sorry, I just taking that taking that shot made me a little nasally a little stuffy. But yeah. So I I like to fish for trout in this game because that's what I fish for in real life. So, um, yeah, but you gotta have money to do that, so you gotta go St. Croix. Everglades is decent early on too, especially with premium, because largemouth pay pretty well. Oh, oh, what is that? That didn't look like a brown trout. Maybe it was though. Maybe it's got a weird angle. That's looking like a brown. Yeah. Yeah. So we're catching a lot of them. We're just not catching the size that we want, which is okay. We'll get on one. I'm, I'm sure that we'll get on a decent one. <laughs> Excuse me, for being as quiet as I am, it is 11 o'clock, and the other people in the house are kind of turning in for the night. So, I do need to keep my voice down a bit. Oh, and we got on one. Alright, anyways. Oop, oop, oop. You gotta always keep that. This one's fine a little bit more. Not much more. Not much more. <laughs> a little bit more. But not much more. He looks a little bit bigger. Probably about four pounds. Yep. 300. Nice. Okay. And the other. <coughs> Excuse me. The other nice thing. <coughs> So I've caught the majority of my nice ones on large minnows. Um, they I hook up just as often with large minnows as I do shiners, and they sell large minnows at that lake, so you can just fish for as long as you want. And uh, yeah, it's fun. And then I the walleye spot off the dock. I just found that, and I got a unique walleye like the first time I fished there. That's a fun spot. It's another fish that's fun to fish for. Is my voice loud enough? Because I know I'm on my on my end. I'm talking considerably quieter than I was. So I just want to make sure that it's coming up good. I know the microphone's pretty close to my face right now, so uh, you might be able to hear my breathing. <laughs> Dude, I'm really liking this ultra light setup. I want to get one in real life. I think I don't have one. I just got my first two ever uniques yesterday. First two ever. Man, dude. Yeah, we gotta get you some unis. I've caught some fatties on here. Got them, I yeah. Got some big boys on here. I still haven't caught a toad blue catfish. Or wait, maybe I did. I think there was a night I was drunk and I caught a seventy pounder. Or something like that. 
My biggest pike is 46. And they'll usually just come when you're farming. Like, not when you're going for them. <laughs> like, uh, I caught my, my largemouth record on, which is one of the biggest I've ever seen in the game. But, uh, oop, 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 oop. but, um, I caught that just farming. And then, yeah, I hooked it and I was like, damn, this thing's fighting like a big drum or something, which I've caught before at the Everglades. But then you, uh, then it comes up and you see it and it's like, oh, that's not a, that's not a drum. I see that black stripe down the side. You see that white belly. You see that green. It's like, uh oh. I know what that is. Oh, what? Damn, he spit the hook right at the end. Oh, dude, he spit it midair. He jumped and I had some slack of the line. Damn, that looked like a decent one. Well, that kind of. Ah. Son of a bitch. Alright, well. <laughs> that one's. That one's gone. I'm gonna have to keep looking for something else. I got pulled on. I've got my couple DLCs from British of Good Gear, and you don't unlock the 440 net till level 40. Yeah. That's dope that she got you some DLCs. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Where is... Oh. Okay. Well, we didn't get any hits on that one at all. We got absolutely nothing. We fucking, dude, oh, anybody else watch NFL tonight? <laughs> just real quick, just had to get that off my chest, or not, the topwater frogs, exactly, the pop, the frog poppers, dude, money, all day, you can catch bass all day on those things, that's all I fish with them, now, even in real life, all I really use for bass is topwater, because I've never had luck with anything else, I've never caught anything on a jig, a bass jig, I've never caught oh. Dude guys real quick This this super lightweight uh, The ultralight setup is fucking perfect For trout in real life too But in this game This is cause it's just the right Like amount of fight Like it's kind of fun to fight it still But you also um, you, you can also get them in effectively Without having to fight the shit Out of a 4 pound fish that was the first or second cast that we have had zero action. So that's I don't know, that's not a good thing. We're just going into the peak of the day as well. So uh, we'll see if we can get on get on a little more action here. We're starting to get into it. We are doing a straight, slow pattern. We're just reeling it in, letting the spoon do its action. And um, even in real life, that usually works pretty pretty effectively. Um, I've caught a lot of trout on spoons. Not recently. All the like almost all the fish I caught this year were on bait of some sort. And it was kind of a bummer. But it was a good fishing year for it for me. I caught quite I caught a decent amount. For me at least. Like I didn't go out as oft as much as I wanted to. I went out quite a bit, but um if you want to catch trout in that biome use a drop shot dude right they're adding so there's no bottom fishing yet there's no bottom this is in the northwest this area is actually like probably 10 hours south of where i actually live this is in oregon i had to because i had a pole that i had a catfish on my hair and that thing broke every time i got 42 pound braid on something 55 and a 10 10 rod nothing breaks it <laughs> Man, you gotta watch your. If if your line was breaking, you gotta watch the drag. In the game, for sure. I actually went fishing the other day. Yesterday, two days ago, Saturday. 
two days ago. No, oh, that was yesterday. No. Oh. Was it Friday? What fucking day did I go fishing? It must have been Friday. Must have been Friday. Ah, <laughs> oh, just missed another one. So they're they're here. They're biting. And they're digging the slow, straight slow. I'm going to try to stop and go. See if it's any better. Because um, it... That's what I used to do here with this lure. So we're going to try a little stop and go pattern. See if we can get them to hit that any more than they're hitting the, the straight slow. Which can't be much more because I'm almost... They're hitting it damn near every every cast. So let's uh boom 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 boom. One, two, three. One, two, two, boom. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna get back down to the bottom. Let it get back down. One, two, three. Let it sink a little bit. Boop, boop, boop. Let it sink a little bit. Boop, boop, boop. Let's try four. See if that changes it. I I can't figure out the the uh, the patterns anymore. I used to know how to do all of them perfectly. Now some of them I can't do at all. Dude, the popping one, I will never get three out of three. Like up in the top up on the right it rates you out of the, the three dots it'll fill up I've never had three dots on a popping pattern what the fuck alright let's let this guy sink we might move in a little bit closer also we also might try a couple other spots shit this game does a really good job of making it uh, like it I don't know what I'm trying to say I don't know what I'm trying to say I don't know how to say it it does a good job of uh, relatively realistic fishing for a video game like, I love it obviously I play this shit all the time uh, I had to take a break from Red Dead so I decided to hop back on this shit Oh, he came upstairs. Oh, we almost lost him. Oh, my God, we almost lost him again. Get him in here. Get him in here. Little brown, looks like. Yeah, little brown guy. Dude, in real life, I'd be really happy with a two and a half, three pound brown. Just because they're just fun to catch, dude. They fight pretty damn well. For anybody that hasn't ever fished for trout, caught a brown in particular, they fight really good. They're, they're fucking, they're pretty strong little fish. And they can get big. That's the other thing I like about this game. Okay. There's some games that are... Like, the fishing isn't terrible and the fish look good. But the... It's not crazy, like, realistic in terms of size. Like, uh, in Far Cry 5, the rainbow trout, every single one you caught, like, the small ones that you caught were, like, 12 pounds. Which is ridiculous. Now, obviously, it's a video game, but this one does a good job where, like, some fish are just not worth looking at. Like, you're hoping they fucking pop off and just get free easily. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like in this game, there's a lot more realistic, like, it's just bullshit fish. Like, some fish you get in, you're just like, fuck this. Like, what, is, what is this thing? But, yeah, I think this game does a good job at that. And I can't wait. They're having an update, I believe, this month with a bunch of new maps. By a bunch, I mean like five, I think. But uh, it, um, yeah, it's going to be good. Now, I don't know how it looks for you guys through the stream because I am on wireless when I'm doing it in my room, which is most of the time. Sometimes I'll move it out, but it rarely happens. Uh, but it looks so much smoother than it did when it first dropped on the PS4 port. It runs so much better. Like, they optimized the shit out of this. Ooh. He was pulling. Whoa, shit. Almost lost him there, didn't I? Now, that's the one thing with these tries. They will fucking run at you. You have to be ready to reel. You have to have tension on the line at all times. 
trying to get him, but he's he's kind of. Dude, and guys, keep in mind this is eight. We are on the heavier setup now. We put on. We had four pound line on. We put eight on. So we got a lot more. We got six and a half pounds of drag on here right now. That looks like a better one. What do we think? Five pounds. Yeah, five two. That's a trophy, Brown. We're going for those eight pounders, though, boy. Eight pound is the one you want. Like you get eight pound brown. You're doing some good fishing. You're ripping lips, brother. That's what I'll say right there, brother. Hey, brother. Oh, what the, oh we just got a hit, but I'm looking. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just looking at stuff on. Uh, I was looking at something real quick. Oh, there we go. Came upstairs right away. Not pulling too much. Oh, now he's kind of starting to. There's a hole right there because they are just diving. Mm, not a very big guy. I guess about three pounds. Four. Bigger than I thought it was for sure. Because people like that. <laughs> Easy ginger. Okay. This is real. <laughs> I feel like that would be funny. Okay, sorry guys. Got a little off topic for a second. A little, little, little off. I was looking at something online. Um, I got my computer right here, obviously, so I can see what's happening. Max drag is 42 on real and 42 on the rod. Jesus, any idea what to do with all this shit you pull from Halloween pumpkins like candle lens? Candle lens. I never got those. The one thing that I pulled from them th that was useful was a bobber. And it's a it's a pumpkin bobber. So that one, that's obviously self-explanatory. But uh, the other ones, I'm not sure. I didn't pull anything else. I didn't play it that much during the Halloween thing, which kind of upsets me because I wanted to do the... Uh, the Frankenfish shit. Because now they have those missions. Which are expensive. I went broke doing the missions the first time. Oh, baby. Hi, kid. Dude, my buddy and I were house sitting that house. Um, and dog sitting. And when I left, my buddy texted me. And he was uh, telling me, like, dude, Chloe is crying. And one of the dogs, I guess, just was not happy that I was leaving. <laughs> yeah, candle ends. It should tell you in the description. It might be something like uh, for the 4th of July, I did something and I got fireworks. But I never, I don't know how to use them. So they're still in my inventory from last year. Maybe the year before. No, it was last year. Huh? Ooh. We are going to have a boat next year, people. Um, so we are going to be doing some IRL fishing videos. I'll try to get a couple out during the colder months this year and see what the feedback's like. I don't know how it's going to be, obviously, but we'll see. My camera's not top of the line, so audio video is not going to be great. The camera was like 100 bucks brand new so nothing crazy it'll work though uh, but I don't need anything crazy I don't do this for a living I have a job um, this would be the funnest job in the world if I actually was able to get be more myself would be a little because right now I live with people and uh, like there's other people in the house I gotta be quiet at certain times you know what I mean if I had my own space again and I could 
do this for a job and really put all my work, all my effort and focus into this kind of thing, holy shit, I A, know that I would kill it, because this is what I do, and B, it would be the fucking coolest thing ever. But I would have to actually see, like I've gotten, I've gotten donations from people on here before, which is hilarious, but awesome, obviously. Wow, that was the first one I didn't get a single bite on. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so that obviously is always going to be in my back pocket. If I ever start getting, like once I start hitting, if I start hitting certain numbers of subscribers, um, then I'll start putting a little more work in accordingly. Spending a little more time, I should say. You know, like this, these streams I do, not a lot of planning or anything. Basically just, uh, I'm on to stream. And then I'll just kind of fucking start sharing the broadcast. I'll broadcast my stuff. The pike are the money makers. That is for sure. So I'm telling you that that video I have... Uh, called new schedule it at like 25 minutes in or something it shows me paddle from the blue catfish dock over to the pike spot and it shows me set up a pike's rig and like you just watch like the five minutes of that video and you'll see exactly where to go and you'll see exactly what these all right they're not hitting anymore let's let's move let's go try and catch something else Let's uh let's flip around here. What do we got over here? Right, let's go out. Let's go out here. So water moving water when it's around a bunch of stagnant water. Oh I didn't mean to do that. Shit, shit, son of a bitch. Alright, let's back it up. Didn't mean to do that at all. Alright, right here anchor I always get my anchor mixed up with my uh, drop and shit alright let's go back to these nano spinners which are right after the spoons damn me one eight ounce let's try this guy out <clears throat> alright let's get it sent out there there we go and we're gonna let this sink a bit we're gonna bring it in and this is how I fish for trout in real life It's actually not completely true. If I know I'm going to be eating them and I'm not worried about gut hucking them at all, I will put on power bait if I just want food for the day or night or whatever you want to say. <laughs> nope. The depth is changing a lot through here. Mmm, we got a hit. Okay, now we gotta stop it, let it sink more. Okay, so it looks like it's really shallow right here. It looks like coming through this, it might have a piece of, like some rock and sand that jets out past it. Cause we're, yeah, this is a... Uh... So we're gonna have to do kind of a shitty stop and go over this because it's really shallow. We're gonna cast out to my right next. That's the next move. Let's just get this up here. Send it out this way. Guys, oh my god, Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh so amazing. I love that game. It's beautiful. Uh, the fishing is pretty fun. <laughs> uh, the hunting is awesome. The gameplay is just great. And it's beautiful. And I have an old TV. And a regular PS4. Nope, no 4K. No none of that. And it's still gorgeous. Oh, we just got a hit on the nano spinner. So I think I'm going to go back to that gold spoon just to test it out all over the lake. <laughs> Man, this thing's taking a minute to 
to sync. What advice? It's level 17. Oh. Ooh. What was that? That's a smallmouth bass. Son of a bitch. We'll keep him. Um. It's level 17. I'm trying to think of seven. Oops. what's available at 17. Does he have... Do you have Everglades unlocked at 17? Or is that 18? He doesn't. Um, okay, so he needs to get XP to get there. Just if he's just trying to level up at least. He needs to get XP until he unlocks that, which I think it must be 18 that you unlock Everglades. So, um, get, go to the lake that I'm at right now, actually, Falcon Lake in Oregon, and fish for brown trout, and then get your XP. Once you get to level 18, go to Everglades, fish for bass, and then do that until you get to Croy, St. Croix. Or if you're feeling good, go to White Moose, because Salmon and Pike will give you more XP, I believe. We did just hit an hour, guys, so I'm going to probably cut it. Uh, I'll get a couple more casts in. Um, see if anything else happens, but if nothing too crazy happens, I'm probably just, yeah, I'm going to call it, because... Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Alright, this is a bigger guy because he's pulling drag on this 8 pounder. Look at this. Guys, this is a bigger fish. This will be the biggest one of the day for sure. He's pulling me all around, and I have a. This is an 8 pound. Uh, Eight pound line. Yeah, eight pound line. At about, so this is actually exactly at 6.6 .6 pounds of drag. This guy's not coming off. We're keeping tension on him the whole fucking time. Oh. Look at him. Six and a half. There we go. That's a nice fish. Um, Alright, guys. I'm going to cut it on that. That's a good trout. Um, yeah, on the gold spoon. We're going to leave it at that. Um, I will talk to you guys this week sometime. I can't say when, but yeah. Alright. Peace. Out. My guys.